And you get a lot of mom and pop landlords that they will do that and they'll leave tenants in there and it's kind of set it, forget it. If they get a tenant that stays, tenant that doesn't bother them, they put them on autopilot and they just let it roll, okay? Well, that, folks, is great for people like you, people watching this show, because in fact, that particular owner is willing to sell it at $69.9 because they've left so much money on the table. Right now, folks, market rent on this bad boy, Eleven fifty a month. That's right. They should be getting one thousand one hundred fifty dollars a month for this sixty-nine thousand nine hundred dollar house. Okay. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Y'all, check out this deal I have for you in Canton, Ohio. This, folks, this is why people come to Ohio to invest in cash flow real estate. 111 Dartmouth Ave, right? Coming to you at $69,900. Now, this particular property, it's a 3-1, but it's a big, massive 3-1. And it's got a tenant in there. And that tenant, folks, that tenant is paying $750 a month, right? Now, technically speaking, at seven fifty a month at a price point of sixty nine nine, it surpasses the one percent rule, right? But here's the thing. Here's the thing about investing in rental properties. This is why it's such an amazing business, right? Pricing, pricing goes up, pricing goes down, pricing goes up, pricing goes down. Market gets hot, market gets hold. But more or less, rents always go up, okay? And seven fifty would have been a good a good monthly rent for this particular property probably like seven years ago, most likely when the uh, current owner put the tenant in there, right? This tenant probably got in there on a one-year lease and they've been month to month ever since, right? And you get a lot of mom and pop landlords that they will do that and they'll leave tenants in there and it's kind of set it, forget it. If they get a tenant that stays, tenant that doesn't bother them, they put them on autopilot and they just let it roll, okay? Well, that, folks is great for people like you, people watching this show. Because in fact, that particular owner is willing to sell it at $69.9 because they've left so much money on the table. You get a lot of people who don't realize that rents have been going up in Ohio dramatically over the last several years. Right now, folks, market rent on this bad boy, eleven fifty a month. That's right. They should be getting $1,150 a month for this $69,900 house, okay? So what I recommend doing is buying this particular property. Don't go right to market rate because as you see from the footage here, the, the house is dated, right? So if this chick, if they move out, right, you're going to have to spend, you know, probably five, ten, probably more uh, to get it rent ready again for a new tenant bringing in that 1150 right a new tenant's not coming in and, and paying top dollar for this right it's a little scuzzy so what you need to do is you need to slowly increase that rent what i would probably do is i'd probably bump it up like 200 the first year and then another 200 right because if you bump it up 200 well where are they going to go they ain't going to get a house anywhere near this big uh, for that price, right? So you're really making the cash flow, right? And then from there, you just got to kind of keep up with that, right? Keep up with the Joneses, right? But what often happens a lot in real estate is what is happening right here. That particular seller's loss by not increasing the rents themselves is your gain, thus allowing you to pick this property up at such a cheap price, right? So if that makes sense to you, you guys want to make an offer on it, send it to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. You want to pay cash? Awesome. Include your proof of funds with the email to me. Just be like, yo, man, I want to pay 70 grand for this. Let's roll. Here's my proof of funds. Or if you want to finance it, no problem. Let me know. You need lenders? I got them for you. You got your own lender? Cool. Send me their pre-approval letter. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. There, uh, one 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 eight Dharmas. Yeah. Hello, how you doing, hon? Yeah, this is you. Yeah, okay, you want to knock. Yeah, it should be. Once we knock. I mean, if it, you know, it looks like there's a padlock, so. 
Yeah. So, I mean, that's... It's all good. That's what we do. Usually, when we have stuff like this, we just show the outside condition. I mean, they can kind of gauge it, you know. <clears throat> but they'll show the layout and all that. And then, um, like I said, I'll get as much as I can with the drone, too. And then that way they... They'll have more than they need to make... You know, build this video. Cool yeah. He said knock first. Yeah, that's. They've been in. I think they've been in, in here for the last. Yeah, I mean, helps a lot. it helps, but also wear and tear and stuff like that. Because yeah, I mean, we get tenants who stay for five or six years, and it's great. But usually when they go out, it's like. Yeah, I'm not going back there. It's got to get cleaned up. For us on? Uh, yeah. So we'll just be in and out real quick. <laughs> Super quick. I'm not trying to not get anybody in this. Um, you the TV on? No, no, no. Nope. Basically just showing the layout and everything. Keep everybody out of shot. And back around. And then is the basement access in the kitchen? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't feel like the basement kind of is right now. We never go down in the Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. We and deal with a lot of places that have basements that people don't use, so. Yeah, we enter your basement. I'm going to get attacked stars. by spiders. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That light makes a good cobweb clear. For the most part. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Oh, super easy. Steps, because we honestly just gotta set things down there. All right, yes, you should be able to walk down there. Perfect. Cool. Because uh, like, again, I need to use it for storage. Sorry, for no, it's okay. I just I've need to. I've seen some situation. So it's all good. Just get this like. We'll just take a minute. Hot water tank and oops. Electric pan yep. and whatnot. The mechanicals. If I can get that. Kind of. Furnace is there. Doesn't look too old. Good shape. 
All right, let's get some bedrooms and get the fuck out of here. Honestly, for a basement that never gets used, way less cobwebs than I thought they were. Really? All good. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah, guys. Thank you. And if you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.